you have the right Jesus? Do you have the right Christ? You may be thinking, well, yeah, of course I do. There's only one Jesus. Well, not really, and I'll tell you why. Yes, there is only one true Jesus. But in Matthew 24, 24, Jesus himself says there will arise many false Christs. And the Apostle Paul talks about uh, false Christ arising too. You have to have the right Christ. And here's what I mean. <clears throat> if you ask a Muslim if he believes in Jesus, he will say, yes, I believe in Jesus. He was a prophet. But he will also say that Jesus was not the Son of God, that he was not crucified, and that he did not rise from the dead. It's not the same Jesus. It's not the same Christ. Um... You talk to a Jehovah's Witness. They claim that Jesus is the first among many created beings and that he is the physical incarnation of the Archangel Michael. It's not the same. Uh, depending on how old you are, you might think of them as Mormons, or more modernly, they like now to be called uh, LDS, Latter-day Saints. They have a de different Jesus, too. Um, they believe that he is uh, the firstborn of Father God's spirit children, and that he is literally all of our brothers and sisters, including Lucifer, Satan, <clears throat> that he is not eternal, that he has not always been God. So, and, and even uh, one of their former presidents, prophets, before he died, a guy by the name of uh, Gordon B. Hinckley, uh, when asked about it, do, do, you, do you believe in the same Christ as Christians? He said, no. Um, and I'm kind of paraphrasing here because I can't remember the exact quote. But basically said, no, I do not believe in the traditional Christ. My Christ is very different. So even though your average Mormon may not realize they have a different Christ they have a different Christ according to their the president and prophet of their church or former, he's passed away um, so why is this important? well it's important because Jesus said there were going to be false Christs coming uh, people claiming to be the Messiah, claiming to be the Christ and They're false. You're following a, a, a false leader, the false way, a false God. In fact, uh, in one of his letters, and I apologize, I can't think of it off the top of my head which one it is, but the Apostle Paul says to us that though we or an angel preach to you another gospel, let him be accursed. Even if we tell you something different than what you've already heard, let him be accursed. If an angel teaches you something different, let him be accursed. Uh, if another man teaches you a different gospel, let him be accursed. 
So it makes a difference which Jesus you have. So who is the true uh, Jesus of the Christian faith? Well, he was born of a virgin, uh, something that uh, the LDS Mormons deny. Um, they, they say that they don't, but when you get into what that means to them, they deny that she was a virgin because they say Father God had sex with Mary. She was a virgin at the time that they had sex. But they had a physical relationship, so she wasn't a virgin anymore when Jesus was born. And that's key. He was born of a virgin. Um, he became physical man. He died on the cross for our sins, resurrected, um, and is pre preparing a place for us. But, and a lot of these other false face, not all of them, but a lot of them will, will affirm some version of those facts. But you have to go also to John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the Word, that's Jesus, and the Word was with God, meaning he always existed, and he was always in close relationship with God, the Father. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Okay, that's key. Jesus has always been God from everlasting to everlasting. In the book of Revelation, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In the same book, God the Father says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In Isaiah, God says that he is God from eternity and that there are no gods before him or after him, neither shall there be any gods formed after him, and he doesn't even know of any other gods. So, Jesus is eternally God from before creation until after the end of this world and into eternity and has always been God the same as, in nature as the Father. A few verses later in John chapter 1, though, it says... By him all things were made that were made, and nothing was made that was made without him. Nothing in heaven and earth, or, uh, and this is another place in your testament, nothing in, was ma that was made in heaven or in earth, visible or invisible, was made without him. So that means he made everything, including Lucifer. It also means that he is not a created being because if the Father had created him first and then he created everything else, well, that would violate him making everything that was made and nothing being made without him. There's a lot of big difference there. And so you really need to make sure that you have the right Jesus. Because if you don't, you are not only worshiping a false Jesus, a false God, but also if you obey the Great Commission and go into all the world and spread the gospel, tell people about Jesus, then you're telling people the wrong Jesus and as Paul said, if somebody delivers a false gospel, let him be accursed, meaning he should go to hell. So you need to make sure that you have the right Jesus.
it's something you need to think about.